My prediction is gonna be one point. Hello everybody, this is Julian from Julian Tech TM. Today is a very uh, spec speculative video <laughs> because we'll be talking about the RTX 3080 this whole week is gonna be 3080 the release is gonna be on Friday but all the YouTubers that already have the 3080 can talk about the 3080 on Thursday 9 p.m. that's when the embargo is lifted I do have a chance to get my hands on the 3080 but before I do that I want to speculate a bit and the thing that I want to do is price predictions because I don't think any youtuber can uh, customize this price prediction for Singaporeans because you know Singaporeans we get prices a little bit more expensive if you look at my slide the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the specification comparison and then later on the price predictions the different brands of the 3080 because it's really hard to get founders edition in Singapore fourth is the dream 3080 built for content creators like me <laughs> let's go to the specifications so I know a lot of times they've show you a lot of numbers and it seems fancy and dandy but it doesn't really matter the only thing that matters for me is the power consumption because it will determine what power supply that you are gonna use and the CUDA cost because as a content creator CUDA cost does help with rendering of videos the 3080 has a vast amounts of CUDA cost compared to the 20 Super and even the 20 ATTI. Power consumption is a lot more. The recommended power supply is 750 watts. They do have a 12 pin connector instead of a 8 or 6 pin connector so that is going to change. You have an adapter that comes with the card itself. Yeah the 3070 also pretty good. Better than the 20 ATTI. But then again all of these numbers are just on paper. We want to see real world applications. We want to see how well it does with games. And uh, we don't have proper benchmarks yet because I haven't got my hands on the 3080 and no one can talk about it yet. But this is what Nvidia showed us so far. This graph can be quite misleading because it's just relative performance. It's not actual performance. And it's relative performance from the 980. So everything is 4.5 times the 980. Take this with a grain of salt. All you need to know is that the 3070 is on par with the 2080 even though it's vastly saying vastly too many times more expensive but yeah the 3080 whoo freaking up there man whether to upgrade or not not quite sure yet because we will go to the next slide the price prediction ah price prediction july 23rd 2019 was the launch of the rtx 2080 super at 699 equivalent to 955 dollars after one year and two months price is still at 1115 for the cheapest 2080 super on lazada you have to pay 16.7 percent more at launch price what does that mean so the launch price of the 3080 it's also 699 usd very similar to the 2080 super so will we be getting the 3080 for 1115 i doubt so it's gonna be 15 to 20 percent increased price from launch i'm leaning heavily to the 20 percent so it's probably gonna be 1.2 thousand dollars but here's the thing a lot of people are gonna get the 30 series stocks are gonna be really low you will see a price increase 20 percent and up i put here 50 percent but it might be even higher it can go up to 1.5 even $1.8,000. Just a heads up. And the sole reason is because the demand is a lot higher than the supply. But if you wait for three months for everything to settle down, when they have enough stocks for the supply, then you will see the price increase of 15 to 20% from launch price. My prediction is gonna be 1.2K to 1.4K after three months when everything settled down. But at launch, because of the low supply, I will put it at 1.4K plus 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 to 2K prediction that's my prediction but if you actually go to the nvidia website singapore nvidia website uh, they do put this option that the geforce rtx 3080 is starting at 1100 i'm pretty sure it's not the founders edition because it's shot all geforce rtx 30 series if we can buy the card for 1100 dollars it's a really good deal even though it's a price increase from America. Why? Because the 3080 close to two times better than the 2080 Super. I would say it's worth getting. It's definitely worth the money. But should you upgrade if you have a 2080 Super? It's a different question. Because at the end of the day, we all have to take all this graph with a grain of salt. Because this graph is from Nvidia and there has to be a bias. So if you're thinking of pre-ordering or selling your 2080 Super, I say 
don't do it wait for the embargo to lift where all the reviews are out watch all the reviews and then decide from there okay the next segment is more of dream build with the 3080 rtx that i want to build some backstory the theme i want for my pc is all black no rgb stealth black so the four brands that are gonna show off is gonna be more stealth looking than rgb lit let's go into the first brand the zotac rtx 3080 trinity there is rgb but i hope that you can turn it off but it's not exactly a black black but it does look pretty good because gray goes well with black also lah. so triple fan so i'm pretty sure the cooling will be good we won't know for sure until we get our hands on the card itself next is the msi rtx 3080 ventas 3x 10 gb oc msi with their somewhat signature many many blades fan how many blades do we count 15 blade fans this fan is a voila why are you so extra fans this really goes well with the theme i really like this design next is the gigabyte also have the grayish i think it is silver i don't think it's actually gray gray it's more silver than gray but i'm not quite sure but it is a contender uh, i am thinking of getting this card too the gigabyte there is rgb I'm pretty sure you can turn it off. I don't know why there's these two holes here. It looks like it looks like audio uh, jacks. It's so good you can hear the graphics. <laughs> but I'm sure it's just a metal piece, uh, just a hole, so that is not quite sure what it's for lah. So far, my favorite is MSI. MSI looks looks very industrial. But Gigabyte is not too bad. Lah. Gigabyte has this very futuristic look, and the Zotac is a very simple, no bullshit look. Next is the ASUS TUF RTX 3080 10G Gaming. It looks very chunky. It's more industrial than this industrial. <laughs> Like this industrial is like more modern and this industrial is very like old school. Uh. If I have a choice just based on looks, which one will I get? This is tough. I wish I can build four PCs and get all of them. That's the thing. But if I were to put my team in consideration, it's going to be either the ASUS or MSI. But I think I'm leaning towards more of the MSI because it really fits with the team. If I went for a no bullshit 3080 build, I go for the Zotac. It actually looks really nice. If I go for a very futuristic look, Gigabyte. The next segment is going to be talking about the RTX build. What's my dream build? So the CPU. I will choose is the Intel i9 10900K or the Ryzen 3900X. It's gonna depend on stocks. From experience, Intel have given me the least problems when it comes to video editing. Next is the motherboard. This is something I would like to get. It's the ASUS ProArt Z49 Creator, but it's out of stock. They have a USB 3.2 Gen 2. I mean, they do have USB Type-C 2. Also have Thunderbolt 3. And they have a Hyper 10G LAN card so you can have really fast LAN speeds but the practical side of me would choose the MSI Mac Z490 Unify it has a lot of features at the bottom right here it's tools for overclocking if I get the AMD it'll be the same exact board but for the AMD processor next we go on to the CPU cooler Noctua NHD15 yeah I always like Noctua air coolers and now they have the black series so the more I'm gonna get it man next is the RAM Corsair Vengeance 4 times 16 gigs $315 for 64 gigabytes of RAM I know it's a bit excessive it's nice to have for future proof so for storage it's a battle between gen 4 and Gen 3. All you have to know is if you have Intel, go for Gen 3. If you have AMD, you have the choice of going to Gen 4. If I have an Intel, I will get the Samsung 970 EVO. The reason for this choice, reliability. I'll, and I'll get two sticks of one terabyte. One for OS, one for my project files. If I have an AMD, I'll get the ROS Gen 4 SSD. Another storage is the HDD. Power supply unit. Super Flower LED X3 Go 80 plus 750 watt power supply. Full modular. For the case, it's gonna be something more outdated. It's the Corsair Obsidian Series 450D mid power PC case. It has the 5.25 extension panel. So I can add a fast SD card slot with extra USB or USB type C on the front. I can put a CD ROM if I wanted to. So the final price of all this, why anyone wanna guess? Trrr, comment section below. Boom! Without the GPU, it's 2.7K for Intel and 26 for AMD. So with the GPU, if the price is at 1.2K to 1.4K, it's going to be 3.8K to 4K. This PC that I built would be a gamer's dream, streamer's dream, 
content creator's dream, maybe graphic designer's dream. And yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoy. It's a very different video. I've never done this kind of video ever in my whole 12 years of being a, on YouTube. So if you like this and you want me to do more Singapore-related tech, the only thing that's related is the price. Lah. Do comment if you have any questions for the 3080 or the 3080 build or the price. If you want to see more videos like this, like this video. If you don't like this video, dislike this video. With that, comment why you dislike it. Maybe there's something I can improve. Let me know. Other than that, I think we are done. We are done. We are done. Oh yes, I forgot to say, I'm going to get my hands on the 3080 tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. I expect another video this week, lah. Let's just say that. Let's just say that.